item number six, presentation by Clean by Design, Circle 8 Systems and in Pipe, regarding the elimination of air and water pollution by California dairies. Hey, I'm Barney. Uh, Bernard Berrier is my grown-up name, and I've been doing business in Madera County. Welcome, Barney. Thank you. <laughs> I've been doing business in Madera County, Eastern Madera County, for 15 years. Uh, just go up to Oakhurst and holler my name, and someone will tell you something about me. Um, I've been following the, the cow pie trail for about the last 10, 12 years. Uh, I helped uh, uh, rehabilitate an anaerobic digestion and collection system at the Cootsie Dairy in Tulare in 1997. And I've just been trying to figure out a way to deal with what we consider waste um, products. Uh, and I've been going to the Tulare Farm Show for the last five, six years, uh, representing Hershey Environmental, a testing and remediation company in Oakhurst. And that's where I met uh, Gary Wegner. Um, and I finally figured out how to deal with uh, uh, waste issues from dairies and wastewater treatment facilities. Um, Gary Wegner is first and foremost a farmer. Um, he, he's, his family has been on a 1,500 acre wheat farm for 100 years. Uh, he's consulted in animal nutrition. He's taught dairy sciences at Centrella College. Um, on his dairy, he's, he's received 40,000 tons of uh, wastewater treatment solids from Spokane, so the dewatered solids that he's put onto his fields to invigorate and create biomass and nutrition there. Uh, so uh, about 15 years ago, dairy de Gary developed a management system that is enabled by technology to make dairies not stink and pollute air and water while increasing profits and um, animal health and the quality of the, the milk. And uh, so uh, anyways, we're here to talk about that dairy management system uh, first. Then we're going to talk about how we can employ those same systems to eliminate pathogens and uh, keep nutrition in the cycle for human waste. And then finally, in pipe, which is a technology that Gary, uh, Gary uh, co-developed with Impipe Company, and that's where we introduce live bacteria into the lift stations and collection systems of wastewater treatment facilities, and we can increase the capacity of a wastewater treatment facility by up to 65%, so over double a wastewater treatment facility's capacity with very little capital outlay. Um, by allowing biology and, and employing a lot of free labor from bacteria to do the work for us. So without any further ado, I'd like to introduce Gary Wegner of Circulate uh, Systems. Okay, thank you, Barney. And uh, I'm going to click to the slides here. Okay. And uh, we're really here today to talk, to talk about the county's most valuable asset, which is the land itself that makes up the county, and uh, how if we take proper care of it, uh, that will affect air, water, uh, the whole environment that we enjoy and, and want to protect. Uh, likewise, if we mismanage it, uh, that environment can degrade. And sadly, I think we can look to other counties in the state where they have uh, overpopulated uh, uh, with dairy cows, sometimes overpopulated with people, and, and have degraded the soil. And, and so. I'm not going to dwell on that, but we, I think we all realize that is a reality. To, to give you a, a, a quick feel for where I come from, I come from Lincoln County in the state of Washington. It's the second largest wheat producing county in the nation. Uh, I think most of you would uh, agree that Madera is a, a low, has a low population compared to the rest of the state of uh, California. Madera has about 50 people per square mile. The county I come from, Lincoln County, is virtually the same size as Madera, but we have four people per square mile, to give you an idea of our population, just as a reference. My family's farmed there, as, as uh, Barney said, for uh, over 100 years. This is an actual picture of my uh, uh, grandfather and his brothers about over 100 years ago, uh, harvesting in, in what's called the Big Bend country <laughs> with a 26-horse hitch. Uh, we've seen a lot of change. and. Uh, a change is, is a part of life, and we just need to move ahead and, of course, make the right choices. Uh, part of my experience base is, is working with about 60 dairy farms back in the 70s, 
And the thing that was appalling to me is the, the, the new mode of handling manure, and some illustrated in these pictures, which uh, uh, if prop improperly managed, again, can degrade the soil and uh, take us the wrong direction. And uh, so that's uh, kind of a starting point. I want to share with you a couple of concepts that are fairly uh, inconsistent with uh, uh, both uh, sewage treatment and the way most uh, dairy and uh, livestock farms are operated, and that is that nutrient retention is a good thing. Keeping the nitrogen and sulfur in the system is a good thing, uh, whereas a sewage plant uh, typically uh, kicks off 80% of the nitrogen and sulfur on a dairy farm. When you drive by the dairy farm and you smell that odor, that odor is nutrient loss. It's the hydrogen sulfide and ammonia, and if it's properly managed, there won't be odor, but it also means we're keeping the nutrients in the system. Uh, and maintaining that nutrient balance is important. Uh, all of you uh, work hard, I, I would hope, to keep your body healthy by ma maintaining a nutrient balance in the food you eat and the vitamins and minerals and supplements that you take. You're focused on nu a nutrient balance to maintain your health. If we allow the uh, environment, ourselves, or any aspect of life to go into nutrient imbalance, then we will be sick, uh, we will be open to pathogens, and we'll be in, in basically in the wrong place. So uh, we focus on maintaining nutrient balance, which does therefore eliminate pathogens. Pathogens uh, propagate where we have created imbalance, eliminate odor, and, and so on. Uh, jumping ahead, uh, the most powerful tool not used in sewage treatment. This is, I'm not going to turn this into a question for the group, but that most powerful tool that is not even uh, discussed in normal sewage treatment uh, training or whatever is the sun. And our system relies on phototrophic microbes that are naturally occurring to do the right thing for us, and it's kind of a build it and they will come approach, as you'll see in our quick discussion. Uh, an example of what the mismanagement of nutrients currently is doing in the state of California is that, and I, I can back this up if anybody wants to know exactly where I come up with this summation, but if we properly manage the dairy nutrients in the state of California, over one million acres would not need commercial fertilizer and this is on soil that today demands the commercial fertilizer for production. We are misallocating uh, that resource on a, on a grand scale. Uh, <clears throat> but the, the dairy industry, for the most part, continues to over-apply on limited acreage and, and not properly manage this valuable resource. <coughs> Excuse me. In the world of, of managing uh, large animal feeding operations. The, the, on a national level, they use a, an acronym called Confined Animal Feeding Oper or CA CAFOs, which means Confined Animal Feeding Operations. And you don't need to know these things, but that's uh, in the, if you deal with EPA and USDA, they're constantly talking about CAFOs or Confined Animal Feeding Operations. But a, an acronym that they also uh, don't use but should be using is a CPFO, and a CPFO was a confined people feeding operation, better known as a city. And uh, because people also bring nutrients together and concentrate them. And the key thing here is that in California, uh, we're concerned about the management of nutrients from cows, and we should be, but in California there are so many people that there is an equal amount of nutrients that come from people that need to be properly managed as well. And it's interestingly a very close to the exact same amount of, of nutrients that we're dealing with. In, the, in our nation, and really in the world, but in our nation in particular, we're really good at producing food and getting it to the cities, but we're terrible at re returning the nutrients back to the soil to re uh, redistribute those nutrients so that we can produce food again from those nutrients. This is an example of one of the dairy farms that uh, we 